Did you see that? Yeah, it's a fly. I got this. No, I got this. I mean, it was around here just a second ago. What? Jay? Don't move. What? Just stay still. It's on my face, right? Just don't worry. It doesn't bite. But stay still. But relax. Wait. Ow. Ash. Missed it. Sorry, bro. Ash. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Mm. Yes! Ugh. Ugh. That is nasty. Has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And thick darkness to people. For the Lord will arise upon you. The Lord will arise upon you. I have just touched you, Martin! Oh no. You've just touched the consuming fire! <laughs> will be seen upon you and nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. You have to allow me. This month, I'm not going to pay again. You <laughs> become me. You know, the more you are going for that, the more the amount of meat you need. No, no, no. You told me you are coming to the kitchen to help me and not to. Martins, where are you going this morning? Ah, job hunting. Ah, you see? What about you, Barbara? What are you up to this morning? Meat 
Hunting. Ah, I wish you all the best. <laughs> oh, my son, I wish you the same. Go get that job. Okay. Go get that. Go get that. Get that. <laughs> you see, both of you, I don't even know what to say about you. Thank you. I Thank you for allowing me. <laughs> Young man, I have no business seeing you this morning. But an escort that was so close to me insists that I've got to see you. Yes, my lord. So, what do you want? My lord, I am a member of the Red Dawn Fraternity on campus. I, I, I joined two years ago, my lord. So, what has that information got to do with me? My lord, I want power. I'm tired of being a floor member. I want to overthrow the current Capon so that I become number one, most feared leader of all the fraternities in my school, my lord. All your request is just a piece of cake. But all those is just beneath my own power. I don't meddle with campus cultism. It's an insult. Go back and tell your father not to bring such an insulting request to me again. Is that clear? My lord, please grant me this desire. And I will bring you sacrifices yearly. Young man, what do you know about sacrifices? My lord, I know death comes before blood. And I know blood comes before glory. No blood and no glory, my lord. <laughs> Your father has taught you well. My lord, grant me this desire. Money, fame, authority, and power. All within the confine of my school, my lord. I am not asking for too much. So what happens when you are done with school? I am all yours, my master. My lord, make me your errand boy. And I will fetch you blood. <laughs> your father has taught you well. All what you requested for is hereby given to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my master. No blood, no glory. Rambo, so it was you all along? Yes, it was. Betrayer. <laughs> what you have done will hurt you one day. Shh. I am the hunter. And you are. They haunted. Hmm? <laughs> you bypassed the code. You manipulated my trusted member. Mm, oh God. And took over my seat. X, you fail to understand that there are powers. And there are powers. Brother, mm. I have seen powers. <laughs> Ah, your problem is you have limited yourself to the scope of the school. <laughs> but I, I have climbed higher to get what I wanted. I made you Ta. what you are. Uh, uh. I taught you everything you knew. I indoctrinated you into this court. You are my boy. No! I am your master. I am your capone. And you will bow to me. I bow to no one. I'm your boss. 
and see you in hell, boss. <laughs> Spread the news. The new boss is in town. was murdered at the early hours of this morning and his body was said to have been dumped on the main road of the university. Rumor has it that the new leader is said to be a 300 level student by the name Rambo. Rambo this morning to celebrate his new position Mr. Martins, of the of you may go in now. The state police have began investigation into the murder case and kidnapped. Okay. Students are pushing a nice own gang by the name X. The leader X was murdered at the early hours of this morning and his body was said to have been dumped oh on my the main road of the university. Oh my god! Remo has it that the oh my new god. leader Jesus. is said to be a 300 level oh, student Jesus. by the name Ram. What happened? Are you okay? That's my school. Those girls, my departments. Wow. The state police have began investigation into the murder worse. case and Flora. kidnappers. <sighs> Don't you see? Kidnappers are taking over. She's innocent girls. Uh, a quick question. Yes, sir. Have we met before? Uh, no, sir. I could swear we have met before. I don't think so. I see. Have you ever been on television? Television? I'm not, I'm not a TV person. I didn't ask if you are a TV person. I asked whether you have been on television. Maybe once or twice, sir. If you don't mind my asking, what for? What do you mean, what for? What were you on television for? That, that was a long time ago. I was a secondary school teacher. Oh. It's nothing serious, sir. You taught in a secondary school? Yes, I did, sir. You are aware that this is a university? <laughs> I'm aware, sir. So, what is a secondary school teacher looking for in a university? And that's a big upgrade, if you ask me. I am capable, sir. I don't doubt your capability. It's your sincerity that I doubt. I, I don't understand. This university is not a ground for testing the waters, Mr. Martins. I'm not here to test the waters, sir. I'm only here to make impact in the lives of the students. So, like you did in your former school? I beg your pardon? Tell me. In all honesty, how many secondary schools have rejected you since you started looking for a job? Rejected me? It's a simple question. I expect a simple answer. Uh, sir, um... Martins, how many people, how many secondary schools? Seven, sir. Seven. Why is nobody accepting your offer to make an impact? Because my, my services were not needed. Oh. The services of a pedophile, a child molester, an abuser are never required, Mr. Martins. S sir, I, I, I am not... Everyone is aware of what you did in your former school. Uh, how you raped a female student uh, and how you were subsequently imprisoned for it? Sir, I did not and I was released because I was found innocent. Oh yes, but only because of the influence of some influential person, I suppose. Look, you may walk around like a free man, but you will never be free until you come out and you confess your sins. I have nothing to confess. It was a setup. Get out of my office. Sir, sir, let me explain what happened. 
this is this was this was what happened. I have no heirs to give to a child molester, lest he also sets me up. Martins, today may not work out well, but I'm sure tomorrow will. You don't understand. He called me a pedophile. He called me a child molester. But that is not who you are. That is what he thinks I am. That's what everybody thinks I am. That's why these schools are rejecting me. You can't say that for sure. I can say that, Papa. My record is stained. <sighs> There's no point looking for a job. The only way out I see now is getting that girl, Flora, to confess. She must let the world know that she implicated me. Otherwise, I will keep suffering for the sins that I did not commit. Martins, what is more important? What people are saying about you or what God is saying about you? Uh, mommy, what God is saying about me is not aligning with what people are saying about me. It doesn't have to. What matters most is whose reports you believe. Men's reports or God's reports? Well, of course I believe God's reports. And what is God's report saying? Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the, and the glory, glory of, of the Lord, Lord is risen upon thee. Behold, darkness shall cover the land, and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Arise, Matthias. Arise. God is preparing you for something great. If you don't rise up, you can't shine. Circumstances around me will not allow me to rise. Every day I go out looking for a job, I, 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 keep, I, I get discouraged, I come back frustrated. Job hunting is the least of God's plans for your life. Discouragement is the tool of the enemy to get you down. You need to encourage yourself in the Lord and get prepared for that breakthrough that God has promised. Martins, when you don't see the manifestation, get yourself busy with preparations. Mommy, thank you. I, I honestly I don't know what I would do without you. Mm. I was I was already getting crazy, but okay. thank you. Martins, do you know that I personally discipled her? Is that so? <laughs> Everything she's saying, everything she told you are the things he learned from me. Mm. That, that is true. That is very true. When we were singles, I was a Bible study coordinator. No, you don't mean mm. it. Mommy, really? Mm. <laughs> Even now, I'm still a Bible study coordinator. She can't deny it. Ask her. Wow. Mm. I won't deny the fact that everything I know Everything I am. That's right. Even everything I will ever be. Oh, money, this accolade is too much. It's all by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Why is she not so the spiritual? <laughs>
Easy, yes, sir. What do you want? I come in peace, buddy. Peace died the day you snatched my daughter from me. Must I do to, to put things right with you? Your son's head on a platter. That will appease me. That's impossible. Having his head hang in a shelf at the center of my living room. That will make things right. Badi, that's not possible. You say? You cannot have him. <laughs> you see, hmm. I used to think that I was powerful. I had an air of invincibility around me <laughs> that made me to think that I was invincible. But I understood the limitations of power when my son got me locked up in a cell that I prepared for him. I entered the third dimension, a vicious lion but I came out a roasted lamb. Now you look at these scars. See? He inflicted them on me. You must... You must think your son is something. Yes! That boy is powerful. Martins is powerful. Look. There are some sort of powers behind him that we don't seem to have. You cannot lay your hands on that boy. See, well, you may think I'm saying all of this because he's my son, but listen to me. And I am saying this because I have tried. But that got me closer to hell. You may be closer to hell, but I, I am already in hell. You drove me straight into hell the day you slit my daughter's throat. My, my best friend slit my daughter's throat. Come on, Bade. Come on. I've made a vow to slit your son's throat right in your presence. And the only thing that can stop me is death. The question is, are you death? No. They don't stop me. Do not stop me.
no, 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 in the name of Jesus, I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places. I'm above principalities and powers. He that is in me is greater than he that is in this world. Satan, you cannot take me back to my past. In the name of Jesus, I'm free from fear. I'm free from fear. I'm no longer a slave to fear. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. Every powers of darkness over my life, I come against you. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus. Red blessed, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, Reketeri of Asandaya, I am delivered, I am free, I am set free. In the name of Jesus, speaks for all. Sisters make us who we are. Sisters handle us as one. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. One blood, one soul, one heart, stands for all, speaks for all. The stars make us who we are. The stars find us as one. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. I call forth Agent Badi Kolako. I call forth Agent Duro Soya. In this fraternity, it's against the book to sacrifice the blood of a member. Agent Soya has violated this rule by using the blood of Agent Gladish's daughter for sacrifice to get to the third dimension. Scores must be settled. No blood, no glory. The consequence of this is that Agent Sawyer will be demoted to a rank lower than Agent Gladish. No. No blood, no glory. No. Secondly, to settle scores, he must donate the blood of his son. No blood. No glory. All right then, next on our agenda. I have something to say. Speak. You can take me. You can take the title. You can take my honor, but leave my son out of this. This decision was given by the powers holding the secret seers, ruling the underworld, and it cannot be reverted. But I made the mistake. Have me, but leave him. You have crossed the borderline, and it's only by blood that it can be corrected. Then take my blood! No! If you put this conversation beyond this point, you are out! I, I have something to say. Speak! Now listen, all of you. I have a story to tell. You made me sacrifice my wife to get the power of the heart of the secret seer. A position so high and mighty that controlled even rulers. I was so drunk with powers that I even rode the third dimension several times. I visited and I threatened my son several times in his dreams. I even made him mad. I had his life in my hands. But Martin is my son. Woke up suddenly. He called on fire and he consumed me. Enough, Soya. Yeah. He belonged to no cult that I know of. No fraternities whatsoever. 
but he had powers to call down fire that you had no power to quench yet you want to demote me you want to sacrifice him now look at my bones everybody look at my scars this is what will happen to anybody who dares lay his hands on my son to hell with your blood to hell with your glory to hell. Hey there, brother. Take your new assignment. Sawyer's heart. Let me get you his son's head first. Then I'll give you that. You've got ten days. I believe I speak on behalf of the Vice Chancellor when I say that we are in trouble. What is the name of this university? Excellence University. Excellence University. This university is 20 years. When we started, we flew on the wings of excellence. Our students were well respected in society. But now, we need help. Our reputation is dwindling and is almost dead. Our image is tarnished. And the federal government is seriously considering closing down this university. And all because we are unable to tame these cult members who have decided to make this university campus their headquarters. I mean, they are killing lecturers, kidnapping students, and destroying properties. Uh, yes, we have been able to uh, arrest one or two of them, but then somehow they always find a way of getting out. Lecturers and students are leaving this university. This campus is becoming a ghost town. I don't know what to do. The vice chancellor doesn't know what to do. Does anybody here know what to do? Anyone with a solution? Anybody? Does anybody have anything to say? Nobody? All right. Then let us just close this pointless meeting. Forgive me for bringing all of us here together. I thought that maybe someone just might have a solution. I'm sorry. Prayers. Excuse me? Prayers, sir. Prayers? Yes, sir. Who are you? What's your department and what course do you teach? My name is Mr. Koladesa. I teach sociology, sir. I call you all to this meeting. I pour out my heart to you. And all you can tell me is to go and pray? Are you out of your mind, Mr. Kolaji? Uh, no, no, sir. You are not? Yes, sir. You are? Uh, no, sir. Look, make up your mind. I'm already confused already. Eh? I don't need any further confusion. Now decide. You are or you are not? No or yes? Uh, sir. I believe if the school have tried its best to tame these cultists all up to this point, and there is still no result, we should leave everything to God, sir. I believe in the power of prayer, sir. That is why I'm still in this school. There could still be a turnaround, sir. And this school could still live up to its name, sir. Who has any other thing to say? Nobody? In that case, Mr. Koladi? Yes, sir. Stand up. Please, pray for us. 
and I don't just mean closing prayer. Okay, everybody, let's bow down our heads to the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Um, so, what did the letter say? Excellence University. Excellence University. Ah, congratulations. Hoover University is that. Ah. But what is wrong with Excellence University? There is nothing excellent about the university. Is this not the university the federal government is planning to shut down? But they are still in session. So what, what happens when they are shut down? And then we look for another university. It's not hard. I'm not going to this university. <sighs> okay. Since you don't want excellence, let's, um, let's look for another university. I want excellence. But you just said you don't want excellence. It's the university I don't want, Daddy. This is a serious matter. Stop playing. Dele, you have been at home for some time now. You have applied to many universities and you have been rejected. This could be God's open door for you. What God promised me was the best. This is the worst. What if the worst is his best for you? I don't understand. Dele, you know what? I will not say... You should take it or reject it. But I will advise you, please pray and seek the face of God. Don't follow your emotions. Follow his leading. Hello, Mike, Mike, hello, how are you? I am fine, sir. Okay, uh, um, I need to reach my son right away. It's very urgent. Can you please put me through to him? I can, sir. Mike, this one is very urgent, please. Mr. Sawyer, the last time I connected you to your son, was out of respect as a member of the secret seer of the underworld. You had unlimited access. And I still do! No, you don't. I can't help you. No one can help. Why? You are on red alert. Your days are numbered. But it's just a call, Mike. Please. It's just a simple call, a number. I'm sorry. I can't be talking to you. Mike? Goodbye. M Mike! God. Martins? Whatever power made you so strong as to resist my attack, I need that power now. What kind of power do you have? different kinds of power. Mm -hmm. We get the third class power and the second class power. You see the second class power is divided into two. Mm -hmm. We get the second class upper and the second class lower. We can't get the first class power. You see this first class power, now Jesus power be that. Hallelujah. Even Bible talk and say he has been given a name above every other name that at the name of Jesus everybody should bow. Every knee. Where do you talk? Now every knee Bible talk say go bow, not be everybody. Me and body, what will be the difference? No be body, they carry me. Biblical accuracy is important during evangelism. As I was preaching, if you become the child of God, Jesus will give you his own power. You see, that's so how Jesus be. He know they carry that power for chest. He they always share him. But now for those who volunteer to be his child, my brothers and my sisters... I will not get brothers for you, and I may be the only sister. My unseen brothers and sisters, you see, with this power, you can do everything. You can go anywhere with this power. With this power, you can call down fire from heaven like Elijah. Mm. You can walk on water and you can turn water to wine. 
Yes, why you they raise your hand? I get question where I want to ask you. Which question? Ask your question. <laughs> you talk say with Jesus power, you feel turn water to wine. And why you never turn water to wine? Sir? And now because of drunkards like you. So upon everything where you want use power, do now why you want they drink? Uh -uh. No be waste of power be that. Even if I be God, I no go give you that power because you go embarrass me. Even Bible talk say godliness with contentment is great gain. Ah, how that passage take relates for what we talk now? No ask me any question. It relates. Any other question? Apart from this sister, any other question? Auntie, now only me the room. I get question. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how was I? Well, not bad for a new convert. <laughs> I think I am ready for red zone evangelism. Mm. The prostitute out there needs to hear the message of Christ. You mean the message you just preached now? Eh, the message we I just preached now, no be the message of Christ. Well, the good news is that we will be going together. So I'm sure that by the time we go severally, you would have learnt a lot of things. <laughs> No, no, no. I won't go alone. Uh, now my desire be that now. I have what it takes. I be share the message where I preach now. No bless you. Which message? Uh, the message where I just share now. You mean the third class power, second class power, and the first class power? <laughs> yes, now. Uh, Abi, you won't tell me, say, you no feel like to surrender your life to Jesus with this message. Actually, sorry. <laughs> you tried. Uh, no, no, on a serious note, you, you really did not No, well. be me, oh. <laughs> now God, they give the idea. <laughs> but Flora, on a serious note, I think you should still take time. Take time to go with me. It's not yet time for you to go out alone. You have a lot of things to still learn. Sandra, you don't believe in me and now waiting they pay me pass be that. Ah, the prostitute out there, girls hear my message. That's the point, Flora. If you are carrying your message, you only make a fool out of yourself. But if you are carrying God's message, he will glorify himself. And that is what you need to understand. You are preaching your message, not his. And if you don't come to understand this thing, you are not ready for outreach. Because outreach is about projecting and reflecting the image of Christ and not yours. I have made up my mind and no one is stopping me on this. Not even you, Sandra. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jesus is good. <laughs> Good. I, I, I have a testimony to share. I also have a testimony to share, but you share yours first. All right, yes. So, um, Excellence University sent me an email. Ah, the university that rejected you? Honestly speaking, yeah. So, um, they told me to come next week for an interview. And they, they said it must be next week. And, Daddy, I smell hope. I smell Hallelujah. hope. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God is good. God, God indeed works in mysterious ways. Mm. You know, this was the same university that outrightly rejected me. Mm. <sighs> there is always a reason for every open door. Mm. God wants you in that school for that reason. Matthias, you must take time to seek God's face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, well, now my own testimony. <laughs> so I can't wait for you all to taste the special meal I've prepared. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I've never prepared a meal like this before. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the last food. <laughs> what happened to the food I cooked? It was, was good. It was very, very, very good. No, 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 no. You are not honest with me. You are not being honest with me. You all commended me about the last food I cooked. Mommy, you gave me 90%. Right. You're yeah, right. Hey, but what was the issue? Uh, no, nothing more, Joe. Mm. It's just that it was just a little... Uh, too, too salty. But you told me the food was delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Delicious. It was deliciously salty. Yes. Just a little bit. So. Ah. Wait, mommy. You didn't give me a hint 
At least you should have given me a hint. I did. I did at our night devotion that day. <sighs> what has night devotion got to do with food? But you know, I was emphasizing being the salt of the earth, and I kept emphasizing salt, 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 and you were nodding your head like this. No, 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 no. If my food is salty, just tell me it is salty. You don't have to use devotion to bring out a point. Please, let's let 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 let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Are we not going to pray? Let's pray. Father, we ask that you bless and sanctify this food in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The prayers felt rushed. <laughs> Just like the food. <laughs> oh. Hello, Shemi. Bye. Daddy, the food is beautiful. The same thing you said the last time. Now I can't trust you. No, actually, this one is actually perfect. Not a word from your mouth. Okay, go. While I was reading my Bible this morning, uh, there's a particular scripture God laid in my heart. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. When Jesus said, I wish you were hot or cold. But because you were lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. I think I'll be sharing that in tonight's devotion. Mommy, if my food is not hot enough, you know the way for the kitchen. Go and microwave it. Ah, uh, no, no, Daddy, I think... No, 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 no. You don't need to use the word of God to communicate with me. Daddy, I was actually sharing what the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. By spitting my food out of your mouth? Mommy. Your revelations these days are questionable. Daddy? Hello? Hello? Who is this, please? Ah, ah, Baba Deiro. You don't recognize my voice again? I don't recognize this voice. Please, who is speaking? This is Flora. <sighs> Flora! <laughs> How are you? Longest time. I am fine, sir. <sighs> I'm so glad to hear from you. I just called to inform you about my first evangelism, sir. <sighs> first evangelism? Wow, <laughs> this is interesting. Yes, sir. I am going out there to preach to the prostitutes. Hello? Am I not capable, sir? It is wise to go with someone more spiritually mature. It is dangerous to head out in haste. There's fire burning inside of me. More prostitutes need to hear about Jesus. And I feel I am called to do that. You see, Jesus once told his disciples to wait until they receive the Holy Spirit. Baba, relax, I'll be fine. Well, well, um, go, we go with you. Whenever you are free, please come over for more Bible study. Ah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Do I microwave your food too? Baba Gmero, who was that you are talking to? Flora, what happened? And you want her to come here for, for Bible study? Yes, yes. Hmm. Wait, she's my new convert. Why all these questions? I thought we talked about her. Have you forgotten? How God used me to save her. She calls frequently. She calls you frequently. Yes, 
and I've been encouraging her to grow in the Lord. Mommy, I hope you understand. I listen to what is going on now. All right. If you don't want your husband to land in the prison, stop him from talking to that girl. Matisse, don't talk that way. Ah, you, are you, do you support him? So, oh, wait, I don't understand. What's going on? Uh, is it the same girl we are talking about? Yes, the same lady. The lady that ruined my career when she was in the world. We are talking about the same lady. The lady that landed me in prison. Again, when she was in the world, the same lady. Yeah, you understand the fact that she was in, or she is in the world. But the question is, are you in this world? World. Because if you are, you should remember some months ago when we had a fight about her presence in my house and now you still trust her? I trust her. Oh great, I hope you are getting your prison kids ready because trusting that girl is one way ticket to prison. Martins, Martins, Martins! Wait, wait, it's as if you've forgotten who you are dealing with. I've not forgotten. You tried to stop me from granting her access into my house. I disobeyed you and it landed me in prison. You have said prison like 10 times in this conversation. And I'll keep on saying it as you understand who you are dealing with. After all, she made us pass through the Babylon. Why? Because if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. I know she's some creature, but there's nothing new about her. All things are passed away. All things are not new. The prostitute was used by a cultist to pull down a school teacher, Bagbero, that cannot pass away, not now, not ever. Martins, if we judge people by their past, how are we different from the devil? The Bible in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 33 says, Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God that justifies. The brothers of Joseph did him wrong. But if Joseph had not entered the pit, how would he have gotten to the palace? If she had not opened the doors of the prison for you, how would you have seen Jesus? How would you have eaten with Jesus with bread and fish? How many Christians can boast of that particular experience? The prison experience did not make you a prisoner. No. The prison experience made you a victor. If you ask me, you are way better and transformed after the prison than you were before. Hmm. You have a lot to thank Flora for. streets now. What do you want? I won't follow you talk better talk. I know where your time. I beg. Come on for you. Which time you no get? No be a share what work you do. Babe, why did they insult me? I know insult you. I just won't follow you talk better talk. Come on for my face. I beg. Ah, which face? Face where you supposed to cover in shame. Are you mad? Ah, ah. You there Chris? Auntie? Calm your blood now. I won't follow you preach, me. Really? You want to preach to me? For your information, I won't follow you talk about Jesus. <laughs> Is that your mouth to smell? It better me I remain prostitute. Then follow you go, you meet your useless Jesus. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey, sis. You the mad, me. See, feel free to insult me. But no insult my Lord and Savior like that. Uh -uh. Something they worry you for, Ed. We won't even pity you. May we may we show you better life. You can't they insult my Lord and Savior. I beg, I beg, I beg, go. No insult him like that, though. Uh -uh. Something they run for your brain. Me. Don't be preaching, won't come preach. And so what? I won't follow you talk about the person who saved my life. You can't they insult him. He never save you, finish you. He never save you. You better go back to it. Make it finish with it. It don't start for your life. Before it starts, they enter straight the form preacher. Yeah. Nonsense. What's seen they happen over here? Now this preacher get to disturb me. 
Sister. Yes, wait. I beg waka. Ah, uh, for why now? I say waka come uh, more for I know they touch my neck again. No? Ah, which kind of nonsense be that? I know my word too. You know your word? Yes, now. Wait him be your word. I'll be born again, Christian child of God. Now, wait him be my words be that. Ah, uh, if not be say, don't save me. We know they take nonsense too. Wait till you want to. I beg, no, they touch yeah. me. Like... I said, I know they touch me. Wait. Let... Hello? Who is this? Hello? Am I speaking with Baba Gwenro? Yes, I'm Baba Gwenro. My name is Sergeant Adekoya. Do you know any lady by the name Flora? I, I, I know her. Who is she to you? She's like a daughter to me. Well, she was rounded off with some prostitutes. And from questioning, it was said that she was the one that started the trouble. You, you are needed here. Oh my God! Uh, can I speak to her? Okay. Hold on. Get me Flora. Who be Flora over here? Now me be Flora or girl. I have to speak. Hello. Flora, my dear, are you okay? I messed up badly. I don't know what came over me. I should have waited for the Holy Spirit, like you said. Come on, Flora. That's okay. I will come for you right away. I will come for you now, okay? Okay, sir. And uh, what happened? It's Flora. What about her? She was arrested. What is she doing again? I, I don't know, but I need to rescue her. You have started again. Eh? You have come again. Superman. <sighs> what is happening? What have I done? <sighs> Daddy, learn to patiently ask God for direction before you jump into conclusion. But what conclusion am I jumping into? Daddy? Why don't send someone to go check her out? Why can't I check her out? Send someone to check her out. I insist. Maybe I should talk to Martins. Talk with Martins. Ah. Martins. Papa, ah. what's the problem? Are you okay? It is an emergency. She's in the prison. She's huh? locked up. Who? Flora. We need you to help see her. Praise the... Uh, sorry. Uh, why are you praising the Lord? I was just reading my Bible this morning and it talked about when the Lord turned aside the captivity of Zion were like them that, you know, were dreaming. <laughs> How is that relevant? Uh, but you don't understand. The turning of the captivity. The person that imprisoned me is finally in the prison. I don't, I don't know what is more relevant, <laughs> if you ask me. Is that what we are saying? Okay, okay I'm, I'm sorry. Let, let's, let's go together. Let's encourage her. She's in the prison. No, 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 no. no, 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 no she no, needs no, our no. help. No, 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 no. Continue with what you are doing. No, no, for real. I have a good mind. Let, let's go together. I can, we have, I can follow you. You may have a good mind, but your mind is not evangelical. Hello, Daddy. I need your help, please. Okay, I'm listening. Do you remember Flora? Which Flora? Frank? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> How are you guys? We're doing fine, sir. Fine, sir. Take your seats. Thank you, sir. Oh, so what may I offer you? Don't bother, sir. Nonsense. Scotch, whiskey, anything. Uh, sir, there are urgent matters that require your immediate attention, sir. Uh -huh. The more reason we should take a drink or something. Sir, your chain of businesses is falling to pieces. And if we don't act fast, the empire that you have spent your whole life trying to build will turn to ash. My empire is formidable, unthinkable. What nonsense are you talking about? Let's start with the astute tech solutions, sir. In the past week, more than 50% of our biggest clients have switched to other B2B service providers, sir. And uh, uh, have you sent a follow-up mail to know why? Yes, sir. It would seem we are in a fierce competition. Ornoja and Ku, he's hot on our tail. <laughs> Onoja and Co. That's not competition. Onoja and Co. is owned by a small boy. <laughs> that cannot be competition. Our clients would return. Come on. <clears throat> Sir, you don't seem to understand. When investors begin to pull out a mass, that is a terrible sign for our company, sir. Investors? I thought you said clients. Um, it gets even worse, sir. Twelve of our ships, owned by our bunker traders, have exploded, sir. What? And this will soon draw the attention of the press. No, 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 no. You must do everything you can to keep the press out of this. We must not allow the press getting wind of all this. That would be very difficult, sir. But we will do our best to, to contain the situation. Now, do whatever you must, okay? Pay pressmen, send lies to the media, implicate someone. Do whatever is necessary. The breadcrumbs must not lead back to me. What? What else do you guys have to say? We have been probed. Huh? A huge sum of money that was laundered by the company three years ago has surfaced in the wrong place, sir. How? How did that happen? Sir, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we covered all our tracks. But what I do know is that our man on the inside um, informed me that hard evidence has reached those scoundrels. And we are going to be investigated soon, sir. How did this get out? Someone must have ratted us out, sir. Oh, so what can we do now? I hate to say this, but right now we have been pinned to a corner. And the only thing we can do is to liquidate the company and shut it down immediately. And sir, you will have to stay off the grid for a while. I will not give up my hard work. And I will not become a fugitive for whatever reason. Now you call that man. Tell him to make that evidence disappear. Let them hack the system. Let them silence the busybodies. I don't care what you have to do. But do something. I cannot become a fugitive. No, never. We, we, we will do that, sir. We will do that. But for now, sir, for now, we need to shut everything down. Flora, 
You did a lot there. I know. Your parents won't be happy with you. That is why I called Baba Biru. I know he would understand. I was there to preach, but I ended up fighting. How? A guy slapped me. I got angry and I slapped my own back. Jesus said, if someone slaps you on the right cheek, turn the left. Hmm. Have they slapped you before? That both your right and left cheek exchange places? Some slaps are not just normal. The slap that guy gave me brought out the old me. I forgot I was there to preach. When your life preaches Jesus, it speaks louder than when your words does the preaching. That was why the Bible said that we should not be conformed to this world, hmm. but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. But Mr. Bionro. Yes. My background is raw. It is really difficult to follow Jesus. It's impossible to follow Jesus without the Holy Spirit. When I was a young Christian, I battled anger issues. I once beat up a student and he ended up in the hospital. My father, Baba Gbero, called and he asked me to hold my breath as a punishment. What kind of punishment is that? The point he made was that, um, as humans, it's difficult for us to survive without breathing. The same principle applies to us as Christians. Yeah. It's impossible for us to survive without breathing in the Holy Spirit. There's the Holy Spirit that empowers us to live the life of Jesus. How do I get the Holy Spirit? Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. But the question is, how much do you really want the Holy Spirit? I really do. Then tell Jesus. Tell him how much you want the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he will give him to you in full measures. But then, study Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 as often as possible and believe it. Yes, sir. All right, let me drop you off now. Okay, sir. Jesus, you say make I ask for anything you go give me. Jesus, I know ask for money. I know ask for riches. I know ask for long life. Now your Holy Spirit, I want may you give me. I want a difference in my life. I want to change the world for you. But when I go in my power, the world ends up changing me. I am tired of bringing shame to you. Your word says in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. For Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I no longer live, for Christ lives in me. I no longer live, for Christ lives in me. I no longer live, for Christ lives in me. I can do this with the power of the Holy Spirit. The river of the Holy Spirit is flowing in me. The fire of the Holy Spirit is burning in me. Yes, I can do this. I no longer live, for Christ lives in me. I no longer live, for Christ lives in me.
Hello, who is this? The bag being row. It's me, Laura's sister. I remember you. Are you okay? Why are you crying? Laura is dead. What? <laughs> My sister is dead. It is not possible. The lady standing right here is a different person. A black and ocean, a black and ocean, a macada, a black and ocean, a rena, a black and ocean, a black and ocean. The Holy Spirit lives in me. Jesus. It's love. and dreams in the heart of every man There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other Jealousy, envy and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover But as for people of God standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails Far beyond the dark Principalities and far beyond the present evil that we see. We are the light of the world, we are the salt of the earth. We have been saved by the blood of the Lamb, it's a revolution. We burn like tongues of fire, like tongues of fire. We shine like tongues of fire, like tongues of fire. There is a space that is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures But as for people of God Standing on a new reality A solid rock that never But we belong to the kingdom of heaven 